What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce. Today is May 11th of 2022. It is new comic book day. You guys are out picking up the brand new comic books that are dropping today, but I'm already looking into the future at this weekend's upcoming final order cutoff and next week's new comic book day, because today's video is comic book speculation recommendations. So in today's video, I'm going to speculate on what books I think might be popular on the secondary market on um, this week's upcoming final order cutoff so that way you guys can get your pre-orders in and also so that way you guys have enough time to reach out to your local LCS and let them know you would like a couple extra copies of these books because you like to start and make this hobby fun itself. And guys, just as a quick reminder, this is a speculation video. I'm going to give my thoughts on what I think is good speculation, but you guys need to do your own research. You need to go check out the comic book YouTubers you trust, other comic book websites that you trust, and other comic book apps that you trust. Gather the most information possible so that way you guys can make the best decisions possible for yourself. Because remember, you're spending your own hard-earned money on these books. Not my money, your money. We always kick off these lists with my cover lover picks. These are books that I think might do well on the secondary market based on the cover art alone. And the first book up is Batman Killing Time number four, the one in 25 car stock cover done by Ben Oliver. Now this features none other than Catwoman. Obviously it's a Catwoman cover, but this cover is gorgeous. I love the pink background and I love the fact that she's a little thick. I think she looks amazing on this cover. Guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this cover, but let's go ahead and move on to the next book. Speaking of thick ladies, have you guys seen this Poison Ivy number one, one in 50 Frank Cho cover? Holy crap, Pamela Isley or AKA Poison Ivy looks absolutely stunning. And I love the fact that the branches are coming up and making a heart above her. It's so good. Frank Cho crushing it on another cover. But guys, let me know down in the comments below. Are you a Frank Cho fan? Would would you pay 50 to $100 for this cover? And the last book on our cover lover picks of the week is Something is Killing the Children, number 24, the 1 in 25 cover. I'm not sure who the artist is. I'll do some research while I'm editing the video and put it right here. But guys, this cover is absolutely amazing. But I will say Something is Killing the Children has had a little bit of variant cover fatigue. There's just been so many variant covers. It kind of makes these really cool variant covers a little less special because there's just been so many of these covers. But I do like the fact that Erica Slaughter does not have her mask on. I also like that there's only a few colors being used on this cover and that red is really vibrant but guys those are my three cover picks for this upcoming final order cutoff guys let me know down in the comments below if you like any of these covers All right, guys, now with the cover lover picks out of the way, it's time to dive into all the books that have speculation landing on this upcoming final order cutoff. There's a lot of books to go over, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into this list. And the first one up is Batman number 124. The solicitation says, has Abyss returned or has a new hero been born in the dark? Next up, Batman Beyond Neo Year number three, the possible first appearance of Bean Boonma, a top cop in the GCPD. Next up, Dark Crisis number one. This is a seven issue limited series solicited in the same vein as Crisis on Infinite Earths, Infinite Crisis, or Final Crisis. Crisis, Crisis, Crisis over at DC Comics. Next up, Flashpoint Beyond number two, the solicitation states, a new twisted version of an iconic Batman villain is born. Next up, Milestones in History number Number one, this is a one shot. This is an 80 page anthology of true black history stories narrated by characters from the Milestone universe. Next up, Multiversity Teen Justice. Number one, this is a six issue limited series featuring Kid Quick, Robin, Aqua Girl, Kyleen, the Witch Girl, and Troy. Next up, Nubia Queen of the Amazons, number one. This is a four issue limited series that pits a Nubia against a villain from Nubia's mysterious past. Next up, Poison Ivy, number one of six. This is a six issue limited series where Poison Ivy sets out to save the world by destroying humanity. Next up, Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, number one. The solicitation states, Captain America's shield holds an undiscovered secret that will change the way Steve Rogers views the 20th century and how he chooses to fight in the 21st. Next up, Marvel Voices Pride, number one. This is the first appearance of a new character teased, but not yet known. And also an anthology of stories celebrating Marvel's LGBTQI plus community. Next up, Spider-Gwen, Gwenverse, number three. This is the first appearance of an alternate reality, Gwen Stacy operating as Captain America. Next up, Spider-Man 2099 Exodus, number two. This is the first full appearance of Loki 2099, and also the possible first appearance of the new Avengers of 2099, led by Moon Knight. Next up, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one. 
30. This is the first appearance of Slugathy. And the last book on Final Order card off that has speculation is what if Miles Morales number four of five. This is the first appearance of Miles, the God of Thunder. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a minute, go back over this list and pick out my Final Order card off picks of the week. All right, guys, after going over this list a few more times, there really aren't any books that stand out to me that say home run, buy 50 copies of this book. But there were a few books that I did like that I think you guys might want to consider for speculating. And I want to make sure I remind you guys, you guys need to do your own research. Don't just go buy copies because I say so. Do your own research and also go with your gut. And the first book up that I think you guys might want to consider picking up extra copies of is Batman number 124. And if you guys don't remember, the solicitation for this book said, has Abyss returned? Or has a new hero been born in the dark? And that's what I personally like about the spec on this book. Has a new hero been born in the dark? Is DC Comics introducing us to a new hero and if you guys did not know heroes always do better on the speculation market than villains so if we're getting a new hero that's the buy-in for this book but Chip Zdarsky is also going to be the new writer and Jorge Menace is going to be the new artist starting on this book on issue number 125 are they really going to continue with this new hero that might be introduced Ugh. my gut says probably not I'm sure Chip Zdarsky has some things that he wants to do with Batman that might not include this new character but guys we'll have to wait and see that is everything about speculation you're gonna make a guess and you might be right or you might be wrong and the second book that I think you guys might want to consider is Spider-Man 2099, Exodus number two, with the first full appearance of Loki 2099, and also the possible first team appearance of the new Avengers 2099, led by Moon Knight. And what I like about this is that we're going to get Spider-Man 29 and the upcoming movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse number two. So we're getting introduced to Spider-Man 2099, and we might get to see the universe of 2099 in the future, in either a future Into the Spider-Verse movie, or maybe Disney Plus will put it on their animated series and we'll be able to see Doom 2099, Loki 2099, all the 2099 universe in some upcoming content. It is a little bit of a far stretch, but guys, this is all about speculation. I am making an educated guess that this might happen in the future. So I'm gonna pick up a couple extra copies of this book, but I also just love the artwork and the cover artwork on these books. So that's another reason to pick these books up. But guys, those are the two books that I think you guys might wanna consider for speculation on this upcoming final order card off. Let's go ahead and move into my new comic book day picks for this upcoming new comic book day which is may 18th of 2022 all right, guys, we're diving right into this list with our cover lover picks, and I'm going to go ahead and spoil it for you guys. There are no key books on this upcoming new comic day that I personally like. Key Collector app has 14 books as speculation. A lot of them are covers and other random things. But guys, there's no books that I can put my word behind that I think you guys should consider, but there are four covers. That's right, four covers that I think you guys might want to consider for speculation because the artwork is just so stinking good. So this will hopefully help make this video a little short and sweeter than normal so let's go ahead and dive into these cover lover picks for this upcoming new comic day which again is may 18th of 2022 and the first book up is a book that's been delayed for a while and that is new mutants number 25 the 1 in 50 art germ variant featuring madeline Pryor with a goblin it is just absolutely gorgeous this is the 1 in 50 trade dress but there's also a 1 in 100 virgin variant of this cover it is gorgeous and that is my first cover lover pick the second one is catwoman number 43 the 1 in 25 sozo maka cardstock cover featuring catwoman and harley quinn it is gorgeous Gorgeous, guys. Sozomaka is crushing the cover game right now. So many of her covers are absolutely gorgeous. I love, love this Catwoman cover. I don't like some of her previous Catwoman covers, but this one is a smoke show. I love this cover. Guys, consider picking this up for speculation or for your PC. And the next book up is Alice Ever After, number two, the FOC variant reveal cover. It is gorgeous. What else is there to say? This is an amazing Adam Hughes cover that is amazing i haven't read this book at all but guys this cover is amazing i'm going to find myself a copy of this book because i want it for my pc for my box that is just filled with my cover lover picks all right guys the last book on our cover lover picks is a really cool cover first off they had a metal cover for this cover it's also a design variant for Good boy number one, the director's cut. This cover is so freaking cool. I haven't picked up any of the Good Boy series, but I really, really want to get my hands on this metal design variant for the director's cut. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is an ECGCE variant cover. There's only 300 printed in total, 200 of the trade dress, 
500 of the coloring book cover set, and also 50 of the metal cover. And this was done in partnership with Skeff Comics Knowledge. If you guys don't know Skeff, go check him out on YouTube. I'll, again, I'll have him linked down in the description below. In case you guys never heard of Skeff, he's such a cool dude. He's another bearded man, so handsome. But guys, this cover is amazing. I love the fact that I'm ending this video talking about A, an independent book, an amazing design variant, and the fact that there was a metal variant is just so sticking cool. I also love that it's a very, very small print run on this cover. But guys, that is it for all the speculation for Final Order caught up in New Comic Book Day. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Now this is your moment to shine guys. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your picks are for both Final Order Cutoff spec but also the new Comic Book Day spec. Are there any books that I missed that you guys really like for either FOC or new Comic Book Day? Let me know down in the comments below. Lastly guys, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that bell for notification and smash that like button. There is one more thing, one more thing. guys. If you'd like to support the channel a little more than hitting subscribe or hitting that like button, guys, consider becoming a channel member for just $4.99 a month. And you also get an entry, that's right, an entry into a chance to win a $50 mystery box at the end of every single month. So that is my thank you to you guys for supporting this channel. And last but not least, the next 10 seconds for all my channel members, all six of you guys, I love you guys so, so much. All right, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one, which will most likely be Monday, but I'll try to sneak a Friday video in there for you as well. But guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.